Welcome to the world of double E. Double E actually stands for Efficiency and Education. We can use this software to set a standard in the operation procedure and the duration of such operations. It is to also measure the efficiency and enable the comparison with similar operations. Now, I will go through with you the overview of the software. To start with double E, you must have a recording of a working process which is converted into MPEG-4. User can define the task attributes, for example, the task description, task cycle and place in command of the task. Next, user can conduct the time measurement using double E. While during the time taking, user can slow down the speed or the relay of the strip of the video to mark the start and the end time accurately. Rating is next on the list. Rating is obtained by replaying the video at a speed that has a rational rate to the user. User could also assign motion element to each motion. Lastly, user could also assign the task at whether is it value added or non value added task by viewing the motion in the video. Analysis and compilation will be done at the end. After showing you the overview of WE, now I'm going to show you the and help you formalize with the interface of the program. Before using WE, it is necessary to record the working process into a video and have it converted into MPEG-4. Open the video by going to File, look for Open, then click on it. A pop-up box will appear for you to look for the video. Once you locate your video, select it and click Open. You will then see your selected video being uploaded into WE. Click on play to play your video. Sometimes if you think that the worker is not performing at normal speed, you can adjust the speed value to increase or decrease the speed of the video to reflect the rationale speed of the worker. The speed value will be the rating of the worker. If you want to go to an exact location of the task, pause the video, then click on left or right arrow to step forward or backward through the scene. You can also adjust how many frames you want to step through by changing the number of frames in each step. Once the location is determined, mark the position by clicking on the mark the current position. After doing so, go to the mark attribute and type down the description name that you want it to name as. After naming it, change the type that is best suited for the job scope according to the trembling type definition. At the top right hand corner, different colors represent different motion elements. Cycle bar allows you to indicate the new cycle. Speed bar allows you to increase or decrease the speed of the job. And lastly, the class allows you to indicate the task of invalid, valid and assist. Invalid means movement that has no value added to the work, while valid is added value work. Assist means operator is working for a certain machine to be completed. Choose the most appropriate class and mark the tick in the box. After doing the above procedures, save the mark attribute by clicking on the mark savings. A pop-up box will appear. Click yes to save the mark attribute or no to cancel. If you save the mark attribute, it will automatically go to the space provided. Now I'm going to explain to you on how to produce the double report. To produce a report, the whole video stabilization must be done. Click on output and go to statistical report. You must save your report to where you want it to be. Now I'm going to save my report in my desktop. It will be automatically be generated into Excel. The report will have all the tabulations you need to know about the work tasks in the video.
Now, I will take you through on how to use the SOP, Standard Operation Procedure. Firstly, you must close all windows of WE to open SOP. Double click on SOP and the WE SOP marker window will open. Click on the selected video you are going to do for your WE. Now, use the period, the motion, from and to to edit all the images. After that, you enter the operation detail at the space provider over here. Now click on add below the image to add the list of all operations. When all the operations are added into the list, you can generate the report by clicking on export SOP icon. A pop-up box save as will appear for you to where you wish to save your report. The report will be automatically be generated into Excel for you. This will be the SOP report saved in Excel. Now this is the end of tutorial 1. Thank you for your time. Hope you understand the basics of double E.